and graders, I'm Miss Diorio, and we're going to continue with Module 2 today, talking about measurements and using rulers. Today, we're going to measure different objects using both our centimeter rulers, either the one we made yesterday, or if we have a ruler at home, either one, go grab that. And we're also going to learn about meter sticks, which are another tool we can use to measure. So for this lesson, again, you're going to need your either ruler or the centimeter ruler you made yesterday, and then something to write with. So let's get into it once you have those things. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start using, start with using our ruler as a tool to help us review and learn our facts. Now, what does this, I'll make this a little bigger. What does a ruler kind of look like to you? What kind of tool? for adding that we can also use, that a ruler kind of looks like. To me, it kind of looks like a number line, right? We can, it's all our numbers in a row, in order. There's little ticks and we can kind of make hops to go to find our answers. So, for an example, if I ask you what eight more than three is, how can we use a ruler or a number line to figure that out? So I would start on three, and I want to know what eight more is, so I'm going to make eight hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got to 11. So eight more than three is 11. Eight plus three is 11. Now the opposite of that, we know whenever there's addition, we can do subtraction. We can do 11 minus eight. So we're going to hop backwards, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 minus eight is three. Ta -da! All right. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little sentence. I want you to use your ruler, your number line, to figure out the addition sentence for what I'm asking you for. So again, we'll do this one together. Two more than nine. So I'm going to start at nine, and I need to go two more. Nine, one, two. Two more than nine is 11. So nine plus two is 11. Now we can do the opposite of that too. Two less than 11, start at 11, and go two less. Boop, boop, is nine. So 11 minus two is nine. That's all I'm asking. All right, try this one on your own. Four more than nine. Tell me the addition sentence. Good, all right. We're at nine. One, two, three. Boop. One, two, three, four is 13. Four plus... 9 is 13, and we can do the opposite of that, 4 less than 13. Go ahead and try that on your own. Thirteen minus 4 is 9. Awesome. Try this one on your own. Tell me the addition sentence, 8 more than 9. So I'm going to start at 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. And then do the opposite. 8 less than 17. And I go backwards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And tell me that subtraction sentence. 17 minus 8 equals 9. Awesome. Let's keep going. Nine more than six. Go ahead and solve that on your own. Tell me the addition sentence. So I'm going to start on six and go nine hops more. Two, three, four. And I ended up at 15. So nine plus six is 15. And let's do the opposite. Nine less than 15. Not 15 minus 9 is 6. Awesome job. All right, let's get out your paper and pencil and let's solve our word problem for today. All right, here we go. Caleb has 37 more pennies than Richard. Richard has 40 pennies. Joe has 25 pennies. How many pennies does Caleb have? Hmm. 
Now, when I'm looking at this problem, I'm thinking there's some information that we don't really need. Talk to somebody at home, see if you can figure out what information we don't really need to solve this problem. Yeah, good, I agree. Joe has 25 pennies. Does Joe have anything to do with Richard or Caleb in this problem? No, right? Okay, so we're just gonna ignore that fact. Sometimes word problems do that to us. All right, so Caleb has 37 more pennies than Richard. If he has more pennies than Richard, are we going to add or subtract? Good, we're gonna add. So I'm gonna set up my word problem. 37 plus 40. Now, we've been breaking it down by decomposing, but we can also set up a tape diagram. So we know that Richard has 40 pennies and Caleb has 40 plus 37. He has 37 more than Richard. So Caleb needs this many more pennies. Tape diagrams are kind of a good visual way for us to figure out the unknowns. So let's break it down. 37 break down into tens and ones, and then I want you to solve on your own. Go ahead and finish that one up. Good. So we're going to add our like terms. 30 and 40 is 70. And then we just have to add in that extra 7 to get to 77. So Caleb has 77 pennies. Excellent job. All right. So today, we're going to learn to measure with another tool. We've used centimeter cubes so far, or our pinkies, because we don't have centimeter cubes at home. And we've used rulers, or our own little centimeter rulers. Now, when we use the word centimeter, we write it like, we don't always write the whole word out. We use cm to represent centimeter, okay? So if we measure with our little centimeters, we use the word cm at the end, okay? So, today we're gonna learn about another tool of measuring, which is a meter. A meter is 100 centimeters, okay? So on this little ruler right here, I only have 30 centimeters. A meter is about three of these plus a little bit more, so it's three, the length of three rulers attached to each other, plus a little more. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. Meter sticks, like this, I don't have one at home, but it's pretty long, are used to measure bigger things, like to measure the length of a yard, like a playground yard, to measure the height of a house, okay? We use a meter stick to measure bigger things. Now, when we measure something in meters, we measure it like this. We put an M after it. So our yard might be three meters long. The tree might be five meters tall. We use the M after to measure, so it would look like this. Five M, okay? Now on this next slide, you can see the different measuring tools. That little purple guy right there, that's our centimeter ruler, okay? Look how small it is compared to the meter stick. So we use our centimeter ruler to measure smaller things, like a marker, like a whoop, cell phone, things like that. We can use a meter stick, but meter sticks are really good for measuring big, long things. And we use the word, the little M, to represent that we're measuring in meters. And we use the CM to represent that we're measuring with centimeters, okay? So, for your problem set today, for your exit ticket for today, you're gonna have to decide whether it would be easier to measure something with these little centimeter guys or the big long meter stick. So for example, would it be easier to measure a marker with multiple meter sticks or centimeters? Centimeters, good. The smaller the object, the easier it is to measure in centimeters. Now, the length of a school bus. Where are we going to measure that in the big long meter sticks or centimeters? Meters, good. It's going to be multiple meters long. It's going to be oh, well over 100 centimeters long. So you're going to click the M, okay? Remember, M is for meters, centimeters, these little guys, the size of your pinky, okay? Meters are 100 pinkies, centimeters are one 
pinky. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Smaller objects measure with centimeters cm. Bigger objects measure with meters m. See you next time.